Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be looking at Procreate and how we can edit photos. Okay, so I have a few photos here that we can use. Um, so I'm going to look at my own pictures. This one is kind of cute. I think I like... See this one? I think I like this one. So what we're gonna do is click share and procreate. So you should already have the procreate app in your iPad. And then it's just going to import it into procreate for you. There we go. So here is our image. And as you can see, it is a very large image, 3000 by 4000 something. So it's a very big image. So when I have an image like this, the first thing I like to do is make it more clear before I even start doing anything. So I wanna add white to the image. Make sure you have true white. That was close. So we're gonna do it up a million times because I don't know how many times. Um, and now we've got true white. That's the color that we want, okay? So now we're just gonna place it in here and everything looks more bright. So in this section we see here, there is a large area that we need to cover. Did I already do it? No. Okay, so we want to make sure that this is not seen. So you're gonna go to adjustments, go to liquify, and then just make sure that these are not too large, like the, the size, the pressure, you know, whatever, adjust them as your, to your liking. But just make sure that the size is not too big because if it's too big, it'll drag your actual picture, which we don't want. So we just wanna make sure that we're getting the this part here. Disappeared as if it was never there, right? And we wanna do that for all the edges, especially up here, it's like really dark. So I'm just doing it there, but just be careful because if you make a wrong move, you know, now you got a hump on your head. <laughs> um, and if it was too big, that's what you would look like. So we gotta be careful with that. I'm gonna put it at 50. Um, I think that should be good. And you see how it just moves everything that it's around? That's what we want. Okay, so now that we've cleared up the edges, we have to make these parts white. Now there's two ways that you can do that. You can make a new layer to keep it safe, keep your image safe. Go up here, create a new layer, just by clicking that. That's how you make a new layer. And then you can add white on it. So I'm just gonna use Studio Pen and you can add a white onto it. Make sure the sizing is a little bit bigger. You're not here forever. And you can make it white. Okay, that's one way. Or you can go back to the image. This is a little bit safer because you protect your image. But if you want to do it on your image, you go to smudging. So the smudging, I usually use like these airbrushing tools. And what you'll do is move it. I'm going to put the opacity larger. And let it smudge the image. Oh, this must be really small. No one there. <laughs> and then what it does is it moves the whiter part, which is the part that we want over okay so or you can do a combination of these things um but yeah as you can see smudging it and making it white clear pure white the way that we want and it's taking whatever is there before and both of these processes take a while <laughs> but as you can see, it's working. The shadows are being removed. You know, when we get closer, you will have to use the white pen instead, just so that your image doesn't get messed up. Okay, so you can see all around me, much nicer. Okay, so now we gotta get into the nooks and crannies. I don't wanna mess up the image. So we're gonna go in here now, as I said, and use the white. Since we already have the pure white, we're good. All we have to do is color in. Oopsie, make sure you're on the pen. 
and make sure that you are coloring everything right now you can use whichever pen you want to use you can use a watercolor pen um whatever brush i should say brush not pen you can use whatever you want to use um usually what i'll do this is like a um this pen is like a pen that you will write with so it has like this weird kind of lagging situation going on um so what you'd want to use is something that's more really like a pen and not this <laughs> but like i said we're on a different layer so that's very important when you're doing this type of thing so that when you're getting closer i'm going to show you how easy it's going to be so that you don't ruin your actual image okay so another option that we have since we're on a different layer go to adjustments and go to gaussian blur now all the parts that we drew white i'm just gonna slide across and you can see here that it's making like a little blur effect zoom in so you can really see that so when i go towards the left you can see this is my original image as i'm going to the right it's starting to blur right so now when you look at your image this is what it looks like and it's interesting because it kind of looks like it's popping off the page from the way that it was done okay that's one way that you can do it and it's a very simple way to edit your photo without doing too much um i'm just gonna go back and do this because i can see some areas here that need it um and that's a nice way that you're just simply editing the photo, not doing too much. Um, in the, on this uh, page, on this layer, I'm going to fix my hair a little bit, just smudge out the phrase. So I'm using the smudging tool. And remember, this is your actual image, so be careful how you are doing it. I'm just doing light strokes to take away the frayed hair. Like disappearing when you use this. That's why I like using the airbrushing um, tools for that. Okay, and even this I could take off, get a little bit closer so it looks more smooth. There we go. Over here too. And make sure you grab from here too because that's where the white is at, the color that we want doesn't look too gray around around you okay so now that that's done pretty much everything is ready if you want to you know add some flare uh, what you can do is on the actual image make sure that it's not on this layer you can do another layer can do another layer make layer you can add color so i'm gonna do pink so i love pink so much i want to give it a tint it looks crazy right now um what you're gonna do is lower the opacity okay we're gonna write it down um so it has a little bit of a, a, a tinge of something else you know um can you have little here yeah there we go it has to be on top top so it can really look nice. Now, this is if you want to have this. You don't have to. Obviously, the picture is yours. You do whatever you want. What I like to do also is add cute little lines. So here's just some of the palettes that I have. I'm just going to use this blue one. And I'm going to use the studio pen. And I'm going to make it a smaller line. And sometimes you'll see people on YouTube doing this. And they'll you know, go around their images like this. You know, make it cute. <laughs> so you can do that too. Just make sure you're on another layer. If you change your mind, you can always, oopsie, you can always remove it. Okay. And then I'll use this this color just little doodles 
double tap, you know, removes or undo, but undoes whatever you did. And then three tap, oops, three tap redo, redoes. <laughs> I can't even speak what you did. So, and I'm just gonna do yellow. Some yellow dot skin there. So anyway, this is just a quick way to edit photos. Just wanted to show you how I edit photos for Instagram or, you know, whatever. Um, you don't have to do that other stuff that I was doing, the pinks and all that, but your image will look like this. There's more things that you can do, but please, if you like these videos, comment down below and I'll make an even more in-depth way that you can edit photos and I'll show you better ways and awesome ways to edit your pictures using Procreate on your iPad. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.